Today we're going to be making one of these inside the waistband tourniquet carriers. All you need for this is some 4 inch elastic and some kydex. Use some of the thicker kydex. Don't go with the thin stuff since you are going to be making a clip with it. First off you're going to need a 7 inch long by 3 quarter inch wide piece of kydex. To make that you can just cut it from uh, your sheet. A good way to do that is take a straight edge of some sort and uh, place it where you want basically. You can clamp it down and then just take a knife and score along the edge until you're about halfway through. So it's going to take multiple passes and then you can just break the sheet into whatever cuts you've made. You'll either need to sand off these rough edges or if you have a scotch right wheel that makes the fastest work of it. With your edges smoothed over you can make some marks on here which can show us where to bend at. Make a mark at a quarter inch, a half inch, three eighths of an inch up from the other end and then from right here up you want that to be four inches. So this is going to end up being four inches right here, three eighths, quarter and a quarter which is going to leave about two and an eighth inches right inside of there. Next we're going to take a heat gun. Um, you want to use a heat gun instead of a, a little oven for this because you only want to want to uh, heat up certain parts at a time. You don't want the entire thing to be flexible. Before you start bending, you want to find yourself a quarter inch thick piece of material. This is just a quarter inch thick piece of plywood. You could probably do it by hand without uh, having the piece of plywood, but it really helps if you have something that's a quarter inch thick to aid you in bending this. So start on uh, this top end here with the dual marks. going to heat it up just the end. So next you're going to put your piece of quarter inch stuff just over the bottom quarter inch of that piece of kydex and you're going to wrap the kydex over. There you go, you can see what we did there. So we have a little hook on the bottom. The kydex is wrapped over the top of that. So we form a little hook in it. Next, we're going to come down to this line we have right here. We're going to heat up this spot and we're going to bend that on over that direction. There we go. You can take this and make sure everything's good and flat. There's no big bulges in there. And that that line is just about on the top of that bend. You can double check that all your measurements are right by taking a ruler and measuring four inches from the inside of that bend down to the bottom. And if there's about a quarter inch left over, then, then you've done it about right. Finally, you can come down here to the bottom mark, heat that up. And then with this bottom one, you're just going to fold over a small amount. Only about that quarter inch, except you're not having to leave a gap with that one. You can fold this one over nearly all the way. You see there, it's nearly all the way folded over. And here you go. This is going to be your clip for your tourniquet holder. For the elastic portion, take and cut a five and a half inch long piece of your four inch elastic. What you're going to do with this is you can slide it up inside of that hook and then through that little bottom loop right down there. Now, place it about one-third over to a side, not quite right in the middle, but over the side a little bit. And we're going to 
sew a stitch from right here to right there through the kydex. If you've got basically anything other than a heavy duty sewing machine, you'll probably need to sew this by hand. Drill like a tiny little hole, a few little holes spaced through here and stitch through those. This uh, is basically going to keep the elastic from pulling up whenever you remove your tourniquet from the holder. Otherwise, all that would just come up towards the top and uh, bunch up. So, we'll do a little back stitch there, come across and do a little back stitch right there to lock everything off. You can see, even with my uh, heavy duty sewing machine, I'm just walking it through really slow by hand just to make sure I don't break a needle because this is some thick kydex. trim off any excess you have from those stitches and fuse the ends of your threads. Next, you're going to fold this over on itself towards the middle to where the clips on the inside and you're going to run a double stitch down the end to join. ends of your thread again. Give another uh, little bit of flame to the edge of that elastic just to make sure it doesn't fray any on you. And then you can turn it right side out. And there you go. There's your tourniquet holder. I sized this for cat tourniquets. If you want to use something other than that, uh, you can just experiment with the length of your elastic uh, to accommodate whatever size tourniquet you want to use. And uh, here you go, I carry this right next to my, my handgun appendix, so uh, that's what works best for me, but you carry it in the small of your back, you can carry it at like 3 or 4 o'clock, um, it's a good way to keep your tourniquet all in a, in a position where you can access it easily, and it uh, helps keep it from wearing, because if you carry it in your back pocket all the time, you know, that's a, that's a little bit more wear on these things than if you carry it like this in one of these little holders. So, there you go. Uh, one thing to remember is that the Velcro of the tourniquet will kind of grab the inside of the elastic so you can kind of see how I have mine folded up here to where there's no Velcro facing outwards other than just a little bit right up here but uh, that's outside of the elastic so fold it up so not much uh, Velcro is going to be sticking to the inside of your holder and you should be good to go.